Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth intermediate Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to teach you how to do uh, line graphs uh, and also area graphs because they're essentially the same. Um, so if I uh, going to do a line graph, I'm going to do it off of this data. Um, so it's going to have the months going across the bottom uh, and the uh, the uh, data going in lines down the middle. Now, um, if you use line graphs before, you'll know that generally they're a lot better the the closer the data is together, because then you get a smoother line. Um, but for the purpose of showing you how to use it, I'm just going to use uh, th this. So, uh, to start off with, I'm just going to do the sum column. Uh, so you click on graph, click on line and you can either do one with points so it marks the points on or you can do one without um, and you can even do 3D ones um, but I'm going to do the one with points so click on next uh, and the first graph that's come up we've got one series like this uh, what I'm actually going to want to do I'm going to add an extra series uh, and I'm going to take some two uh, and as you can see that's drawn two lines uh, in two different colours uh, and then the category for the x-axis labels let's take the months uh, and then that's written the months across the bottom let's click on next uh, I, um, I do want the le legends um, and uh, that's going to be it I don't want to put, start putting the categories on and start getting a bit messy um, and I don't really want to put a, a data table on either so click on next and let's do this one as uh, an object inside so there we go we've got a line graph uh, I don't really like the months like that so let's go to alignment and change them to upright make them a bit clearer to read Okay, I'm going to get rid of the grey uh, and then I'm going to just make the lines a bit thicker um, and a bit easier to see. Um, so there we go, we've got our lines uh, and as you can see this gives you a pretty good representation over time uh, and things like that. Uh, so this would say these were sales across the year. You'd be able to see when your peaks and your troughs were. Um, you see them a lot in the financial market graphs like this. Uh, and you can um, change this as well if you want to an area graph which is very similar. The only difference between the line and the area graph is it will draw the same thing only the area graph is going to is going to fill in downwards so if we go to chart type and go to area and there's a, a very important difference between these two so if we do this one you'll see that it's filled down exactly below and it's uh, filled in underneath the line um, what we can do is we can switch the series around so if we remove series 1 uh, add it back in and take that click OK that switches our series around so then we've got the other one to the front um, the other type uh, if we can find chart type um, stacks them on top of each other so it takes so you say for January it's taken 115 of the series 1 and 368 of series 2 and it's stacked them on top of each other so this is really useful for if they're the same thing but you want to colour them slightly differently uh, and it gives you the kind of comparison between the two while still maintaining your peaks and troughs for them both added together so you can see them individually and added together all in the same chart the other type you've got is this one on the end and that 
takes each of your series and applies a percentage rating to them. So this is useful to see when one of them is starting to get higher than the other and when the percentages are changing. And then the other ones are all literally just making the same ones again but in 3D. Uh, with the lines you've also got st you've got stacked lines in these as well so you can see that this is the same as the area one but without it being filled in. And then this is the percentage one and it just gives you the the percentage line between the, the top and the bottom. Um, so that's it for graphs now. Uh, if you've got any other requests for the types of graphs you want me to show, then drop them in the comments. Uh, but thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.